Hello, blessed ones. When you embark on the crypto journey, there are some important tools that you must arm yourselves with. All right, and first up, let me just ask you a question. Normal day-to-day, -day, your dollars and your coins, your money, how do you store them? You store them in a wallet, right? Similarly, when it comes to your coins or tokens, which are your digital assets, you will require also a wallet. It's just that this time it's a digital wallet, okay? And there are hot and cold and hardware wallets. Right now, I'm going to guide you on how to install your hot wallet in the form of Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is the brand. I'm holding an Android phone. So first up, go to the Play Store and then search for Trust Wallet. Okay. Trust Wallet. Now be very careful that it is the authentic, genuine app. Okay, so you will see that many Trust Wallets will pop up. Okay, we will click on it and then look for the correct logo and the correct spelling. You know, these days, scammers and spammers are very smart. Um, they will trick you with similar logo as well as spelling. So be very, very cautious. So right now, this one with the blue shield, that's correct. That's the Trust Wallet. Click on Install, and it might just take a little bit of time. Uh, a couple of minutes, I suppose. And then, you know, this is um, a DeFi wallet, okay? So it is um, decentralized wallet. It is not in the central exchange. And so when it is a DeFi wallet, then get yourself ready with your pen and notebook, okay? Because um, very soon you will require it. You will have to store your own private keys or they are called seed phrases or mnemonics. They are all the same thing. They are your private keys that are very important and very, very precious. All right. You have to store them carefully, uh, not in a digital form. Don't screenshot or take a photo. Don't. Uh, it is private and confidential. Don't let anyone get hold of it. Okay. Because when you lose your keys, you will lose your wallet. You will lose all your assets if they fall into the wrong hands. All right, so right now, it's already downloaded onto the phone and then click on open. And uh, right now, you will see that, you know, it tells you that you can earn rewards. You can explore limitless. It is your one-stop Web3 wallet. You own, you control, and you leverage on the power of your own digital assets. You unlock opportunities to 100 plus chains. You earn rewards by crypto and swap tokens. Explore a limitless world of DAPP, which is decentralized apps. And, uh, well, yeah, so it becomes, you know, you are your own bank with this wallet, okay? So right now, let's get started. Enough of advertising for Trust Wallet, yeah? Okay, so now, it, again, you know, more propaganda by Trust Wallet. It says, join 17 million people shaping the future of the internet with us. Okay, so this is the, uh, take it as it is your first time, right, downloading into your phone. So right now, there are two options. You either create a new wallet, and then after you create a new wallet from there, you can even generate new multi-chain wallets from there, okay? Or there's another option that you can add existing wallet or import or restore or view only uh, an existing wallet, all right? So right now, the objective is to create a new wallet. Click on the top button and then it is telling you back up secret phrase. Protect your assets by backing up your seed phrase now. Okay, so they are telling you to back up manually or you can back up at the bottom to Google Drive. Well, I don't feel secure backing it up to Google Drive because um, I prefer to hold it manually. I feel it's safer because even the cloud can be hacked. All right, so let's do it manually, okay? So at this juncture, you have to back up manually and uh, I'm going to pause it for the time being so that, you know, it should be that if you click on it, you will see the phrases and then that's the part that you have to get your pen and write down carefully word for word spelling for spelling in the same order okay so and then make sure you don't just misplace it okay this secret phrase is the master key to your wallet tap on all check boxes to confirm you understand the importance of your secret phrase all right then 
it tells you that Trust Wallet does not keep a copy of your secret phrase and that saving this digitally in plain text is not recommended. Examples include screenshots, text files, or emailing yourself. See, these things don't do, okay? And uh, what you should do is to write down your secret phrase and store it in a secure offline location. All right, so these are the things that you should do. Then at this juncture, you have to tap on all these in order for you to proceed to continue. So tap on the first, second, and third, then you can continue. And uh, okay, so I have already copied down the mnemonics and there were 12 of them. 12 of them and then after copying down they require you know like a kind of a game i call it like uh put in a certain order like fill in the blank sort of thing well you will know when you get through it okay so i've just completed it and it says welcome on board your wallet is now ready to use dive in and start your crypto journey stay secure and start using trust wallet so click on the green button and then click on allow trust wallet for notifications and then um, you can actually you know buy crypto and uh, so on and so forth well okay so now you've got your first wallet and you can you know manage you see you have you have managed crypto in green you can click on this manage crypto and now automatically um, the wallet has about a few coins yeah btc eth these are the main coins and they are layer one blockchain then yeah then followed by the others like bnb matic and uh, this twt is trust wallet itself the trust wallet coin i think token token okay and then uh, what else um there is like BNB Beacon Chain. This is another version of the BNB. Then you have Cardano, which is in ADA. Then you have Ripple, which is XRP. And then you have SOL, which is Solana. Then you have Dogecoin, which is made famous by our dear Elon Musk. Then we have Dot, which is Polkadot. And then we have AVAX, Avalanche Chain. Then TRX, which is Tron Chain. LTC, which is Litecoin. And then you have CRO, which is Kronos. This one is uh, the coin with Crypto.com, actually. And then the CRO, also again, Crypto.org, is uh, for from Crypto.com, which is another CEX, which is a centralized exchange, okay, Crypto.com. And then uh, we have Near, and then we have Toncoin, which is on the ton chain um so well there's a lot a lot a lot okay uh atom comos xlm um algo yeah ethereum classic well so many 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 coins okay so anyway let's search for tether usdt usdt okay usdt let's um what right now it's on it's lot you have a usdc ethereum you have usdt ethereum because right now it is on the i think ethereum network okay but if i want to add usdt bep20 <coughs> then you will have to change your network here to the bnb smart chain you see that so these are all the networks or the chains the different blockchains that you can select just now earlier we were looking at the list of coins and tokens okay so right now in order to add usdt bep20 you must first select the correct network which is to click on bnb smart chain then with that then the related coins will show up so um actually right now because i have done a search uh, i beg your pardon i've done yeah i've done let, let's let's just you know let's start this process by clicking on the bnp smart chain and 
so because on top there the search button I have key in USDT so that's why USDT BNB uh, smart chain will appear then you this I mean right now is disabled you just click on the button to ableize it to enable it sorry and now you can go back to your wallet um, there can you see that at the bottom USDT BNB smart chain is already enabled at the bottom of your wallet okay to receive you don't need to have any gas fee you only need to have gas fee when you send out so the sender has to bear the gas fee okay so in other words this wollet right now it's all zero rised this wallet can start receiving you know coins or tokens or you know from other people can start receiving okay let me just do some logistic here at main wallet one you can click on the little button next to it and then click on the three dots here and then you can rename your wallet at the top so you see that just rename it to say trust one and then you see the secret phrase backup there's Google Drive that's in red button to back up now. I, I don't want to click that. But in case you forget, the manual one is active. Okay, so I think in case you forget, you can still click on this to, to um, then key in your password in order to assess your seed phrases in case you forget them forgot to click on the tick on top you have to click on the tick on top then it will change you see now the name has changed so it's good and now if you want to receive USDT BEP20 then you click on the coin and then you can click on receive and then it will pop up a QR code and you will take note that for the USDT BEP20, the wallet address always begins with 0x because it's the BNB chain, right? So now, in order to receive this, somebody can either scan your QR code and send you USDT BEP20 or you can also click on copy. Can you see copy? So click on copy. Okay, and then uh, what else? There's also NFTs options that you can purchase or uh, store or receive your NFTs here. Um, then I go back to crypto first, which will be commonly what we are using. And furthermore, below, you can see the options that you can click next to home. You have swap, right? You can swap um, different coins, you know, etc. So you can uh, make your own selections. Um, of whatever pairing that you want to swap there are many coin options and similarly you know you can swap you know in in pair and then you also have like discover uh, discover will be trending news like um, what's the latest information you see you can also do staking staking of the different coins uh, in the trust wallet to earn some interest uh, lending and borrowing here that you can um, also explore in the next session when we go deeper right now I just orientate you first and then you can see that there are different smart chains um, DeFi protocols that you can connect to and then lastly is the browser okay at the browser there are um, the DeFi and different different options that you can search and then kind of link up to the different browsers within the wallet. This is like a quick overview and a quick orientation on the Trust Wallet on how to download and uh, what are some of the basics that you have to do to get your wallet ready. The next step forward is start your crypto journey take action <laughs> yeah uh, small baby steps at a time